What's up, Jesus? So a homie sent me this post on Instagram about some after-school Satan's Club for children, and when I read that, this is all I could think about. All will be sadness. Life will become death. And I will watch the crimson blood leak from your neck. And it turns out this isn't a joke, and apparently Golden Hills Elementary in California is promoting an after-school Satan's Club for kids as young as five. Uh, does this look wholesome to you? This video alone could freak out parents, but the Satanic Temple is trying to reach students by getting into elementary schools nationwide. It says here the club was made in response to another club called the Good News Club, which is a weekly Christian program also for kids as young as five. And I can only imagine what would happen if they had an anti-racist club. And if for some reason you thought these guys were affiliated with the Church of Satan, don't worry, they're the Satanic Temple. Hey, are you guys the KKK? <laughs> nah, we're just white supremacists. But this article goes on to say that the organizers of the club don't like the criticism they're getting because they don't actually promote Satanism. And it's like, are you actually fucking retarded? That's like naming your club the Kill Every Asian in a 30 mile radius club and wonder why all Chinese restaurants are 31 miles away from you. They even have this dumbass logo that I'm gonna repurpose and just call myself the Satanic Temple with no E. As you can see, the very noticeable difference. And you know what? Fuck you. This is my YouTube picture now. Only instead of this Johnny Depp looking Satan, we have... O.J. Simpson. And it's fucking stupid. They said, and I might be reading this wrong, the Satanic Temple does not advocate for religion in schools. However, once religion invades schools, as the Good News Club has, the Satanic Temple will fight to ensure the plurality and true religious liberties are respected. That just sounds like you want an excuse to see children. Hello, Chris Hansen? Yeah. We found him. Like Paul Hicks, the guy running the club said, There's currently a good news club there which is teaching kids to go save souls for Jesus at the school. We want to give them an alternative point of view. Yeah, the alternative would just not be going to the club. I don't think there should ever be a group of people whose main focus is to just be the opposite of one group of people. I haven't even been alive that long, but I know that hasn't gone well in history. And why at an elementary school? It was like the most random age to bring a group to. And yeah, I know the Good News Club or whatever has done the same thing essentially, but they're not like the I Fuck Jesus Club. And they're like, oh no, we don't teach about that. We teach about agriculture and growing mushrooms. Alternative names for your group though could be the Free Thinkers, um, the Devil's Accepted. Get it? Like the Devil's Rejects? Or just like Scientology with like a splash of Satan. I don't know, you could choose. But you guys want to hear about a football player who retired after selling a very rare Pokemon card? I know, I know. I was a bit hesitant at first too, but let me tell you anyways. So a couple weeks ago, this guy, this NFL beef man, retired from the NFL after six years because he sold his rare Pokemon card for double what his salary was worth. Blake Martinez has abruptly retired from the NFL. Now I know what you're thinking, double an NFL person's salary? Did Pikachu himself have sex with the card? If only. But this guy wasn't a top talent, he was decent, but his salary was around 300k a year, as compared to like Patrick Mahomes, which was like 10 million a year. And according to this website, he sold this Pokemon card for over $670,000. And if you look at its bid history, he sold it on October 29th, and then 11 days later, he said, later losers, I'd rather be a Pokemon card salesman than a literal NFL player. And I mean, who wouldn't? $672,000 for a Pokemon card? You literally could have gotten a replica and nobody would have known unless they're those nerds over there at PSA. And even then, I still think they're just winging it when they check those cards. Each package is opened in priority of service and the cards are counted. The submissions are now assigned a generic order number. And hey, who knows? Maybe I'm sitting on a gold mine right here. You never know. I mean, hey, look at this. Justin Bieber cards. Not to mention a Magic Johnson AIDS card and a former leader of the KKK, David Duke. I'd say the clan would pay a pretty penny for this one. <laughs> Maybe not the me. But yeah, guys, gonna video up next. I know I'm a little late, but what is that? He has like 40-something days left. He can wait. Take, wait. Wait your time. See you next week. Peace.